couple of items that are related to the definition of internal orders. First is that internal orders are cost objects that are used to collect costs from one object and then distribute them to the next object. And the receiving object is just what it looks like here. It's, it's called a receiver. And the receiving object is something that is defined in the settlement rule, meaning you can define a receiver object as being a GL account, a material, another order. Um, there's a variety of different object types that you can use in your settlement rule. Um, so that is one of the reasons why internal orders can be so flexible. The second item here is in discussion about the attributes. So there's attributes such as the profit center, plant, company code, material, customer. There's a variety of different options that you can use on your internal order master record that allow you better reporting. And these attributes can also be used in actual transaction processing. And the other nice thing about the internal orders in terms of how they're defined is that customer fields can be added to store additional information. So if there are standard fields that don't apply to the characteristics or the description that you want to use for reporting, you can create your own field. Uh, one example would be you can con uh, you can create a material field like I just talked about. So if you want to tie a particular internal order to an actual material, you can make that link directly in the internal order. Um, and you would have to use uh, some development techniques to, to get that configured. But it's a very valuable tool because it allows you to do more detailed reporting than what is available with standard SAP. Here on this slide here, I wanted to, to give you a graphical picture of the concept of internal orders and settlement and cost receivers. I think this is a, a basic and a good flow for, for users to understand how it works. So what you have here is you have an example here at the top in the blue box where costs are posted during the month. And depending on the settings of the GL account, the GL account may require that an internal order is used. Now, the internal order has different classifications. It can be a real internal order, or it can be a statistical internal order. So what's the difference? A real internal order is the type of internal order that actually receives the cost. The costs are stored on this internal order. This internal order can then move those costs to any other objects um, based on the settlement rule. Um, its actual processing is done in terms of allocating these costs from this type of order, which is a real internal order, versus a statistical internal order. A statistical internal order must be posted with another real object. And as I mentioned just now, a real object is one that has the, the physical cost and can allocate those to additional uh, objects down the line. An internal, a statistical internal order in this case really just receives the cost kind of as a memo record. So a statistical internal order cannot do any settlements to any other objects. It's strictly a resting place and kind of a record keeping uh, item that is noted on that particular internal order. So in this flow, we are actually talking about a real internal order, one that can settle costs to additional objects. So at the top, like I said, we have costs coming into the internal order, and you have three examples of settlements. Okay, so what we're showing here is that the internal order has the ability to settle to multiple types of objects. It can settle to a GL account, it can settle to a cost center, and it can settle to a WBS element, assuming that that WBS element is a real object as well. So the settlement rule is very, very important in determining where those costs are supposed to go. And those uh, receiver type objects that you see in green are defined in the settlement rule, which is a configuration area that needs to be completed. And we will talk about that later in the presentation in terms of how you set up that settlement rule, 
how you set up the set up what's called a settlement profile and how that is assigned to your internal order type.